leading the way with breaking news. Evacuation orders are still in place in Whitewater Township amid fears of a chemical explosion. Thanks for joining us tonight at 4 o'clock. I'm Sheree Palello. And I'm Ashley Kirkland. This all started yesterday, of course, when a train car started leaking styrene. The leak has stopped, but the evacuation order remains. It all happened on a railroad near US 50 and State Route 128. And we are leading the way with live team coverage, tracking the very latest developments and impacts for you until it is safe to go back home. Home. Let's send things over right now to WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes, who spent the day at the command center. Todd, can you tell us what you've learned? Yeah, you know, Ashley, this continues to be a dynamic situation in the sense that everything hinges on what's happening inside a train car that's parked near an evacuated Kroger store in Cleves in the Whitewater Township area as well. Officials sharing the this information during a news conference shortly after noon today. That timing is important because that's the last update we got. Uh, the update came almost 24 hours after the rail car started leaking styrene, a volatile and toxic chemical, into the air. That, of course, prompted the deputies and police to evacuate homes and businesses within a half mile radius and also issue a shelter in place directive for people living a bit further out. Today, a railroad company worker said the train car is no longer venting styrene into the sky and said monitoring efforts show no issues with air quality. Hearing that, I asked why neighbors who've been evacuated can't just head back to their homes. The answer, well, officials still are not exactly sure what the styrene that's still in the rail car will do. It's a volatile uh, product. It could heat up and it can expand and it, it could actually explode. That risk is reduced, but it's still a risk nevertheless. So we are still maintaining that abundance of caution to maintain that uh, evacuation zone. We want to make sure that the community is safe. So please understand it's more not the uh, uh, health inhalation risk. It's more of the explosion risk at this point. Now, during today's midday update, we learned the styrene that's inside the rail car, what's left of it is starting to firm up. Uh, that's encouraging. Also, the temperature of the chemical compound is within the it was within the safe range, at least at the noontime. And a short time ago, my colleague Brian Hamrick uh, talked to a local a firefighter who was helping douse the rail car in question with water. Uh, that firefighter told him that uh, that dousing process to try to keep that rail car cool has come to an end. I think that's an encouraging sign, too, and that's something that uh, folks out here in this part of western Hamilton County will hopefully be glad to hear. But, of course, the evacuation uh, directive still remains in place. For now, reporting live here in Whitewater Township, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. And Todd, we know that families are anxiously waiting to find out any new information from officials. When can they expect to learn more? Yeah, you know, there is another update scheduled for tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll, of course, have it covered for everyone, sharing the very latest information. And we certainly hope that we'll be able to supply some more good news if that's what's been happening over the last several hours. Ashley. Todd Dykes.